and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a massive collective haul from the past couple months. Um, and since it's so much to get through, let's get started right away. The first item I have here is actually part of Kirsten's um, limited edition the skating outfit. Um, this, I didn't get it with the scarf or the skates, but I found this at an antique mall. Um, and I was so, so excited. Um, the details are super nice, like these little buttons. And um, I love how it has like the limited edition Pleasant Company tag, which is, there you go, very, very cool. Um, so definitely look forward to putting Kirsten in this in the winter time. From the same antique mart, I found Mini Isabel, who is kind of dirty right now. Um, I'll have to do something with her hair. Um, but I'm impressed that she had the shoes still. Um, and I found this Mini Grace new in box. I'm not sure what kind of set this came with. Probably like a book set, maybe? Um, but the guy gave both of these mini dolls. He just wanted them, like, to get out of his sight pretty much. Ten dollars for both, which is very cool, so I am so excited to have these two. And I hit up a Savers that day as well, and I was lucky enough to find Jess's scooter. Um, does I need to clean it. It has, like, a sticker on it and stuff. And just some residue. Um, and I'm gonna try to put some batteries in here just so you can see a little bit better. Um, because I hope that these still work. I've never had it or seen it, so I'm not sure. Um, but really cool piece for Jess's collection. The next item is from one of the um, Girl Today, the Early Pleasant Company line. This matches the yellow bunk bed set. This is the nightstand. Um, I got this on one of the Facebook groups, and you can see it has the grin pin somebody put on, which I'm not going to take those off because it's kind of cool, um, but it is very well made, and I was looking at this and I was kind of confused of why they picked black instead of the yellow to match, but other than that, I'm so excited to have this because I'm trying to get all the nightstands. This next set I was so excited about. These are the Seaside Accessories from 2005. Um, from the American Girl of Today line. And just to go through these quick, um, this is from an eBay lot that had every piece, which is so exciting, beach ball. And then this campfire, um, which turns on right here. And it has a couple different modes, um, which is very cute. I love the realism of it. And it's very similar to one that was like 2009, 2008, around that area. But instead of the pink, it was like just regular rock color. Um, this is the little mini lip balm. Try to get to focus. There we go. The lip balm on a string. Um, doesn't unscrew or anything, but I think that's for the best because it would get lost. This is one of the things I'm so excited about. This coconut towel. I am such a coconut fan. I love coconut so much. And just having a little beach towel like this is just so cute. There's also a mini American Girl magazine, which I used to love this growing up. The magazine. So sad they discontinued, even though I'm still getting it nowadays. Um, and then we have a sunscreen that the cap opens. It's just a squishy bottle. I am a huge fan of accessories. Like, that's one of my favorite things about American Girl. And then this little radio, it doesn't obviously work. It's just kind of like for decoration, but it does have like a little clip. There you go. Very cool. And this part as well that is just so awesome is this little mini cooler. The handle's open. It opens up from top. They've done a couple of these type of things over the years. Um, this spot right here. We have a tidal wave pop. There's one in here. Probably like a blue raspberry. And then there is some sparkling water bottles as well. And there's two of each. And then 
as well just kind of like some ice for the cooler as well so super cool set and it's amazing to find these all complete still so now moving into some newer items um we first have covey's yoga outfit um and i have been wanting this for a while i think her collection is one of my favorite girl of the year collections in a really long time um so here's the tank top it's definitely um an athletic material feel kind of spandexy it has the elephant and a matching lime green yellow i honestly can't really tell it's kind of in between stretchy headband and as well there is this purple little wrap sweater it's kind of similar to the one um that they do in like the dance sets and things like that and here are the leggings which are just standard exercise legging material so nothing too crazy about that and to match the yoga outfit we have the yoga accessories um and these are really cool and like i mentioned previously the accessories that american girl makes are why i love the brand so much and why i love collecting as i move my camera um because i just love all the tiny realistic details um i'm not gonna unravel this right now but i believe it has like a pattern on it um comes with this bag that opens and will be storing like all these accessories in um it also comes with a sandalwood essential oil mini of course there's nothing in it as well kind of just like a little washcloth towel to wipe some sweat off things like that and it's a really cool little tie-dye pattern um it is on the thin side but it's fine there's also a book called shine on which is just um a mini version of one you can actually get for a full size person size um as well last thing is just a little hanging poster of some yoga poses um that you can hang up so i'll try to find a place to put this one of these days and furthering my Courtney addiction, we have her strawberry shortcake pajamas. Um, I finally got around to getting these. The little brochure is just so cute. I love it. Um, and this is such good quality. It's the same type of material that you would buy for yourself for a onesie. And the feet don't have like grippies or anything, but that's fine. And we have the applique just so cute i love the vintage strawberry shortcake not a big fan of the newer one but it's all good um and then this scrunchie matches the arm right here so super cute and it will be so cute to put either courtney in it or like her stand-in for her sister one of these days and to match the pajamas we have the strawberry shortcake sleeping bag set and this one again just the quality is so so nice um we have strawberry shortcake cat here and it's actually like a really cute little plushie um and the sleeping bag itself has this really cute motif on it um like i said i absolutely adore the vintage strawberry shortcake artwork so much so i'm so happy that they went along with this and the inside lining is the same fleece that is on the onesie as well which i'm sure you guys have seen before and then this is so cute just says sweet dreams all over it and how cute is that um so super excited that they're doing sleeping bags and stuff like that i love courtney's collection so super happy to have this so now I'm moving into the Something Navy collaboration, and I still need to get more pieces, but by the, when the time that these, um, like when I went to order, it was like a weird back order, um, but I was able to get this, and definitely the little pantsuit, and where is that a two-piece? I'm not sure. 
um, and the dress I need to snag up before they go as well. Um, but I am obsessed. I I think all the like collaborations they've been doing have just been amazing, and I love them. Oh my gosh, this is like the best thing ever. Um, first of all, I love pink, and I love doll raincoats as well. Um, I have like the old blue one with the little hat and stuff, and this is absolutely perfect. I love it so much. And to match the raincoat, the rain boots as well. These are the perfectly pink boots. Um, and you just can't get any better than this. These are just so adorable. Um, there we go. Obviously, it's like the same material as the raincoat. And I actually like the detail how the um, bottoms weren't like the standard black and how it's like this um, light gray color. It's actually like a really unique touch. Um, but these will be so cute to put on one of my dolls. I'm not sure which one yet, but super, super cute. And as well, we have the glitter meets gold sandals. Um, this I'll definitely pair with some of the other clothing items of the collection once I get them. But <laughs> um, these are just basic kind of glitter sandals and I really appreciate how they put a sealant over um, instead of like the glitter just being like a free-for-all and kind of flaking off. I hate when that happens. Um, but really cute item. The bottoms are hard, which is good. Um, and I just so happy that the glitter doesn't flake off. And the last item is the must-have accessory set. Um, and this is so cute. The purse is like the same exact color. I can get it open. Is the same color as the jacket. Um, it's Velcro. It's actually pretty roomy inside. The Matthew Girl tag and the gold chain. It's pretty well made. And I, like I said, I love, love, love doll accessories. And we have this tool pink scrunchie and as well if I can get it open we have a sequins bow hair tie which is a pretty cool feature I love how they gave like two hair accessories once I can get it open oh my goodness there you go so sequins on like a see-through type of fabric with the hair tie and this will not only look cute with the raincoat um outfit but it will also look good with either one of these um honestly i'm not the biggest fan of this outfit but maybe when it goes in like this last chance sale one of these days i'll scoop that up so the next item we have is a costco bundle um and I'll show you the doll I got right after I look through the accessories, but let's get right into it. Alright, so this is all the stuff out of the box. The first thing that we'll take a peek at is, and it has like some cardboard, um, is the actual soccer outfit itself. Um, it's kind of like lower quality than like their normal sport outfits, but I mean it's to be expect expected, it's in a bundle. And we have shorts as well, it's like the same exact material. Um, we have these shin guards, which are just like a, just like hard plastic. Um, so there's that. And the socks that kind of match the same color scheme, with the light blue band on top. And we have the cleats, which are actually, they feel a little bit, a little bit wobbly. Not as firm as like other shoes, but again, it's to be expected in a bundle. Super cute color though. And we have the soccer ball, and this one is actually kind of like stress ball foam material, um, which I actually prefer versus like a plastic. And I'm assuming this is a water bottle it's supposed to be. I'm guessing, yeah. It's definitely an interesting box shape, which is never really seen that before. And we have just a composition 
little journal. I guess she's a student athlete. <laughs> and we have this tablet, the cord that comes out. I think we've seen this before. So it's nothing like too crazy. And like this little pen, the cap doesn't open. Um, and these are just some of the slots that like that go in, like the little cards that go into the tablet. I'm not gonna open them all up right now, but we have like a math one and looks like just some website with animals. As well as this backpack, which is actually pretty big, which is pretty cool. Um, the checker is, there's a lot going on. There's like cactus ice cream, sunglasses, like there's a lot going on here, but it's really roomy, which is awesome. And the cool thing is, is I was just able to fit in all these accessories, even like the little squishy soccer ball right into the bag. I mean, it is a little weird, lumpy looking now, but they can fit, which is good so you don't lose the tiny pieces. And the doll that I was able to get in the bundle was number 82. And she's been on my want list for a while, but I am so impressed with her. She is absolutely beautiful. I wasn't expecting her hair to be so curly. I am obsessed. Um, and I kind of wish that they use this wig more often because she is absolutely stunning. I love the Josefina mold, so I'm just so ecstatic to have gotten her and all of that accessories, the whole outfit, two outfits actually. Um, I love when they do the Costco bundles. So the next doll in this haul is no other than Isabel. So I already took their hair nuts and stuff like that off camera so I can help myself. Um, but I'm so happy to have Isabel. Um, she's long overdue in my collection. Um, and just like look at those highlights. I love it so much. She's so unique. Um, and as I'm sure you've seen so, so many times, the shoes are just so cool. Um, so I'm so excited to have Isabel and I can't wait to keep getting her collection. And the next doll that I was able to get was one of the Amazon deals. And this is number 90, one of the Street Chic dolls. Um, I am actually a really big fan of this line, even though they didn't really do much with it. It just kind of came up one day and then never really, I don't know. Um, but I was super impressed. I didn't even, like, they don't show this much online, um, but like the light blue, like all of those colors, I can't wait to take her hair down and just kind of see what's going on with that. But definitely super excited. She looks so much better than the stock photos. And the next doll that I got online on the American Girl website is number 42. And I am just excited that she was still on the website um, just before she retired. So I'm super excited about that. Um, she is going to be one of Josefina's sisters in the future. Um, so just kind of using her as a stand in there. And last but not least, we have the FAO Schwartz Toy Soldier. Um, yes, her hat is falling down a little bit, um, but let's take her out of the box and see what she looks like. So she is just absolutely beautiful. Um, the outfit itself, like the velvet, it, it feels so luxurious. Um, and I mean, I can kind of see why it was so expensive. The boots are super cool. Um, I've never really seen them put out anything like that before. And yeah, she still has like the plastic, but um, very, very impressed. Her hair itself is such a beautiful combination of like caramels. It's just so beautiful. Um, and at the currently at the moment, she is my favorite special release doll they've ever done. So very, very excited to have her in my collection. So that concludes today's video. Um, this definitely was a longer one. Um, so congrats if you made it this far. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show what I got collectively and this wasn't like all at once type of thing. Um, 
Rapunzel should be in next week, so look forward to a video about that. And in the meantime, thank you so much for your support. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!